The Celtics are taking on the Heat this Wednesday, January the 6th, and I've got your free NBA pick coming right up. The first promo code of the new year is WILD, W-I-L-D, saves you 20% off the entire site. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. My name's Allie Burns, and I've got Craig Trapp with us today. Hey, Craig, how's it going? Oh, you know, it's uh, January, and we're post-2020, hopefully we can say post-COVID era soon, but we're not quite on that yet. Uh, but at least we have teams in the NBA not playing in a bubble format. And I'm pretty excited. The NBA is starting to be good for me as far as winning and losses is, are as concerned as for betting. And I like this matchup we have for today. I like this one too. And these are two teams that I really enjoyed watching in the bubble. Um, only one of them I'm kind of enjoying watching outside of the bubble. <laughs> so uh, Celtics are five and three. They're coming off of back-to-back -back wins against Toronto and Detroit. They've won four of their last five and they're kind of doing it with or without Kemba Walker, which is pretty impressive. Marcus Smart's also a little iffy. The Heat are three and three. They're coming off a big win against OKC, but they're in that like win one, lose one, win one, lose one pattern and I hate that it's difficult for me to bet on so what do you think I got Miami as a favorite minus two and a half and the total is at 218 what can you tell me of course this is also a rematch of the bubble uh, of course the heat won and knocked the Celtics out and moved on to the finals the the problem for me with Miami is when Jimmy Butler is not playing at his best and he's banged up right now and that's what you probably could say the reason why they've kind of been up and down lately they just don't have anybody else to take that leadership role. I, I think Dragic could be that person, but it's just like, you know, I, at his age, as he gets up there, I think it's a guy that come playoffs probably can count on him more. But when it's like turn one on, um, I guess you could maybe get one here or there. I think he's just more of a role player now. They need Jimmy Butler to get healthy. That's going to take a couple weeks. Uh, so to me, I'm on the Celtics here. Um, I like them uh, at the two and a half number. I actually thought the Celtics would probably be pick them in this spot just because they've been playing much better basketball. And I really like that back-to-back -back win they had because any they rested some players and still Boston found a way to not only win but dominate a struggling Raptors team. I will give you that much. But I just think Boston's the better play here. They're, uh, Jason Tatum is playing absolutely out of his mind. I mean, he's no longer that what they call the budding superstar. He is a superstar, and Jalen Brown is just one step behind that. It's a pretty powerful combination, young two young guys, and I don't know if the Heat can really match up. Tyler Hero has kind of not been what we saw in the bubble. And I think uh, Miami's going to struggle to stay up with this great Celtics team. I was talking about Tyler Hero the other day and the curse of the bucket that he gave himself his own nickname. He wants to be called the bucket. And I was like, oh, you, you're in for a bad year, friend. You're not allowed to nickname yourself. I'm pretty sure that's a rule. Um, so talk to me about a total here. 218 is the number. Do we have an over and under? What do you got? You know, usually Spolstra, the way he likes to play is defense. But, you know, we saw that kind of change in the bubble where it's a lot higher scoring team. When you play Hero, he's not necessarily known for his defense. And they shoot so many threes. Him and Duncan Robinson shoot so many threes. I like the over here. Also think with uh, Marcus Smart banged up, um, you know, he's not going to just an extra guy to run off those uh, great shooters that he'd have. I think the over is probably a solid play. But my better play definitely going to be on the Celtics plus uh, the two and a half. Probably going to play them on the money line as well because I think Boston's going to win outright. I like that way. I like it that way too. All right. That's your free pick from Craig Trapp at Picks and Parlays. Take the Celtics with the points or even on the money line.